so welcome back friends so we are so welcome back friends so we are still in our triple brochure design in illustrator so everything about brochure design even any graphic you need to understand you, you need to realize and think more and more how you can improve on the design so i i think we can still work on this so i will go to the home tab here and uh, i will have i will have stroke color then i will come here and i will remove the fill okay i have to i have not select yet so i will select this shape so the home tab then i will add stroke color now then i will remove the fill now i need to go back to my pen tools again then i will make a part um, i need to make a straight part straight down like this i press ctrl key down to cut so i will press ctrl plus ctrl plus all right so i need to make sure that this is snapped to the edge something here okay so i press shift key and select the big shape then i'll go back to my home tab now i will select my shape builder tools then i will pick the color from this point here i'll pick black then i will double click to fill this place and then double click to fill this place All right so i'll go back to my selection tools then i'll select this shape and press delete key on my keyboard i'll select this and press delete key on my keyboard now i will select this shape here then i will press ctrl plus zero to zoom the entire canvas then i will go back to my tools bar i will select my eye color dropper then i will pick the color this red now all right so i think we have a very nice uh, shape style here right away so now what i'm going to do next is that i'm going to input text into the brochure right so before we do that we can okay let's go to tools bar and select the text tools now in brochure this is going to be the front side of the brochure so this is where the company name usually be and the logo right so here i'm going to type my brand name excel graphics then i press enter and uh, multimedia all right so i'll press ctrl a to highlight all right so i'll come here and change my font type No, no. So I'm going to make use of Lato, Lato font. So Lato is part of a print design font, right? So Lato, then I will come here and I will increase the font size, let's see 24, boom. So then I can select the below company name and go back to my font and i will change this to medium then i will change the color to this red and i'll go back to my pictures 
so the company name can be here right why the company logo can be at the top of this image all right so <clears throat> one other thing i'm going to do is that i'll go back to my file now place so i need another image a corporate image so these are very very simple design all you have to do is to watch every step you're going to get it so let's see Still looking for the right full image. Okay, so I'm going to use this image here. Now click on place. So take it down like this good so I can take it for one side so I need to make a duplicate of this shape I'll press alt key on my keyboard and drag so I'm taking this one right here so I'll go back to the image then I'll take it here so this is where I need it then I will right click on the image, I will look for arrange, then send to back. Arrange, send to back. Okay. So now I will press shift key and select the black shape now. Then I will right click again. I will look for make clipping mask. Very good. So I'll go back to the shape here and I'll take it to the top right here. Snap. Very good. So I'll make use of my transparency just like how we did for the other one right here. So we can leave it in, uh, let's see, 50%. Okay, let's see 60 percent all right so in this case now i'm going to save this file so that in case we have some issue so we will not be able to lose the file so we go to save us i'm going to save it so okay So my broke your file. Anyway, let me just put it here. Then save. Then we click on OK. All right, so the file has been saved.